sinking in a world of sin, world of sin. but grace and mercy, mm, it took me in, it took my feet out, out of mark clay, and placed them on, on a rock to stay, oh what a relief it was, when God rescued me, to you. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Can somebody just wave your hand and say praise God this morning. Oh, thank you, friendship. God bless you. Thank you, family, to our live stream family. Oh, we're just so glad to be in the house of the Lord. One more time, glad to be worshiping with you in your private area, your private space. Just thank God for you logging in, tuning in worshiping with our family here we got family in the house we thank god for you communion service today is our first sunday so family we just wanted to remind you to get the family around the table get the water get the bread get the wine get the crackers whatever you have is all right god just does not want us to ever forget the sacrifice that he made for us so we will be celebrating our communion this morning our son is here elder thompson he's coming back to lead us in scripture and prayer and then our men will come back and bless you again good morning to you family god bless you
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What a time, what a time, what a time, what a time. Mm, we're still in the Lenten season. 40 great days of fasting. 40 great days of meditation. 40 great days of getting closer to God. And this is our day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, it is. Everything you've been praying for, everything you've been fasting for, it's coming. It's coming. Trust me, it's coming. It's coming. Just want to welcome you today to friendship. Welcome to the ship. Just bow your heads in prayer. Go to your knees, whatever you need to do, because we're going to exalt him. Father God, we come in your presence once again. What a time, what a time. Father God, I want to pray for this great, great congregation. Father God, I want to pray for this nation. But Father God, more than anything, we want to pray to you, Father God, that you will deliver what you say you will. During this season, Father God, we want to get closer to you. We want a better walk. We want a better talk, Father God. We want to lift you up in everything we do. Father God, we want to give you all the honor and all the glory that you most righteously deserve. Father God, touch the elders. Touch the children. Touch the leaders. Father God, touch everybody under the sound of your voice. That you would deliver a prayer and a blessing. Blessing that they've never had before. And Father God, when it's all said and done, only thing we want to hear is, well done. Well done. Well done, my faithful servants. Well done. And I'm telling you, Lord, we just coming to you today, Lord, looking around. As we got up this morning with the blood still running warm in our bodies. And we saw the flowers starting to bloom. Oh, Lord, change is coming. Change is coming. What a time, what a time, and what a sight to see those beautiful flowers after the cold, after the rains, after everything we've gone through, you're still in control. It's, it's been told, Father God, it's been told. We would go through seasons, and there's a time for everything. And Lord, we want to pray for our great shepherd of the ship, the friendship, Reverend Dunstan. What a man, what a man that you installed here. What a man you are ordained to command this ship and watch over your flock. We thank you, Lord, for him. Father God, we ask you to pray for him, Father God, because he cares a lot. He intercedes for us. He counsels. He teaches. But one thing, Father God, he is in your spirit. And he brings a word, a rhema word, a word that resonates through our hearts, a word that cuts like a knife. But Father God, in all, it benefits us. Father God, I want to pray, Father God, for anybody that's going through sickness, infirmities, or anything that keeps them, Father God, from seeing your smile, your light. And Father God, we want to let our light shine that others may see, Father God. That's all we want to do so others can see that light in us. Oh God, yes, oh God, that's all we want. And Father God, this pandemic, everybody's worried about it. Lord, you're still in control. You said you'd never leave us. You said you would never forsake us. And we believe. Oh, what a time. What a time. 40 days. One-tenth of the year. One-tenth of what we're supposed to give to you, God. This is the time. This is the season. And there's a reason. And Father God, we want to walk in it. We want to walk in it. Oh, God, we want to walk in. Father God, we love you. We want to have that smile on our face. We want to get rid of that frown that takes 206, what, muscles to make a frown? Just smile. Father God, we want to show love to our brothers. We want to show love to our sisters. Father God, I want to thank you, Father God, for the gift that I prayed for. Oh, what a time. Father God, I'm smiling. I'm smiling for one reason. I've been praying for it for years. And Father God, you deliver it. Ain't no doubt about it. I see it, I receive it, and I will just enjoy, Father God, what you brought to me. Lord, I believe you. And Father God, I, got, I couldn't help but to give praise and honor to my great mother, Miss Julie, 105. Mom, I owe it all to you. You made me a, made a son that I am, a father too as he's in heavenly court. 
And Father God, we just want to pray for anybody who had bereavement this week, Father God. Setbacks, Father God. Lost a job, Father God. Lost somebody, Father God. Lost their way. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back, Lord. Restore what the devil stole from them. Not one-fold, tenfold, one-hundred-fold. Give it back. And Father God, we will be so, so humble to give you all the honor, all the glory. And somebody out there watching Friendship Today, I hope this word touches you. I hope this word changes you. I hope this word brings you closer to God today. And Father God, we love you. We praise you. We honor you. And everybody give me a loud and thunderous amen. 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 And thank God Almighty. If you have your swords, your word, your apps, whatever you got. If you got braille, you got anything. You got anything. Let's open it up right now. And let's stand up and give God the reverence. We'll be coming from Luke 4, 1 through 13. What a powerful verse. And the word says, and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Wilderness, people, wilderness. Being 40 days tempted by the devil. That's your old Satan. And in those days, he did not eat nothing. People, people, you're fasting. Nothing. And when what? They were in it. He afterward hungered. He was hungry. People, you're going to be hungry too. And the devil said unto him, if thou be the son of God, command the stone that it may be made bread. Ha. And Jesus answered saying, it is written that man should not live by bread alone. Ah, not by bread alone, but by every word of God, God's word. Hey, yes. And the devil taking him up hmm, into a high mountain. Showed him what? All the kingdoms of the world. And in a moment, of time. What a time. What a time. And the devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that what? Which is delivered unto me and to whosoever I will give it. Devil can't give you nothing. If thou therefore wilt worship me, mm, you only worship God and shall be thine. Mm, I belong to God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, yes he did, Get thee behind me. That's right, Satan. Get thee behind me. For it is written, Thou shalt not worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. I serve God. I serve a mighty God. And he brought him, what? To Jerusalem. And set him on a pinnacle of high. That's high. Of the temple. And said unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast that south down from hence. Mm. For it is written, he should give angels charge over thee to keep thee. Mm. And in their hands, they shall bear thee up. Least at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answered, said unto him again, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Mm, don't do it. Yes. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. And people, this is the time for you to tell Satan to get thee behind me so he can depart at the end of these 40 days. Yeah. What a time, what a time. God's words for God, people, let it resonate. Let it get into your soul. Let it get into your spirit. And let us say amen, 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 amen. amen and thank God Almighty. family in the house say hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. thank God for our son in ministry that's Elder Hayward Thompson mighty man of God reading the word going to be taking us to the throne of grace blessing us with our invocation this morning family is communion time hallelujah
What an awesome time to be celebrating communion during the Lenten season. My God, the next time we take communion, it'll be Resurrection Sunday. Oh, but this morning, the word of the Lord that was read in your hearing says that we are doers of the word. We, we live by the word. Jesus said, it is written. And it is written, family, that God said, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Do it remembering the sacrifice that I made for you, my children, when I sent my son to die for you. This ceremony memorializes, honors, remembers the sacrifice of Jesus the Christ. His broken body, his shed blood. As often as you do it, many other ministries, and religions, and denominations, some do it every Sunday, some do it once a month, some do it once a quarter. Here in our house aboard our ship, we do it every first Sunday. We remember, we don't want to ever forget the sacrifice that God made for us. So as you gather the family around, as you've gotten your elements, your bread, your crackers, your cookie, your juice, your water. The physical elements really are immaterial. It's the spirit element that makes the difference. Whatever you have in the physical, you lift it up and you give thanks to God and you remember. So take the bread. Hallelujah. Take the wafer, take the cracker. If you're able to stand even in your home, stand. This is, this is a sacred time. Our family here in the house are standing. Break it. Give thanks and break it. As it symbolizes Jesus' body that was broken. Hallelujah for us, for you. Eat it. Somebody tell God, thank you. Now the juice, the water, represents the blood that was shed. Ah, yeah. Hallelujah. It was the blood that saved us. It was the blood that cleansed us. It was the blood shed that gave us our life back. That put us in back in right relationship with our God. What can wash away my sins? Yes. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And Jesus shed that blood for us over 2,000 years ago. So this morning we remember that as we lift it up. We see it in our minds. That blood dripping down his side. Hallelujah. As that pierced thing, as that spirit was pierced in his side. Oh, the enemy thought he was killing him. The enemy didn't know he was just releasing the blood. Oh, 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 somebody shall thank God for the blood. Take ye, drink all of it. Give thanks. Oh, what a good God we serve. Thank you, family. Our men are coming back to bless you. Then we're coming to give unto God because God has given unto us. And we got some powerful announcements. Some things are, we're planning for you, so stay tuned. God bless you.
try to steal my peace. Oh, no. I'm tired of crying, always feeling weak. I take two steps forward, step you push me four steps back. I'm so sick of you lying about this and that. From this day forward, this day forward some things are going to change. Things are gonna change. I'm taking back everything that you stole me. Yes, From me, yeah. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it right back. I'm taking it right, right, right back. Everything that you stole from me, I'm taking it back. Let me tell you one more thing. Try to take my family, try to kill my name. You attacking my body, causing so much pain. Almost lost my mind. Playing That means everything, <laughs> everything you stole from me, I'm taking it back. Everything that you stole from me, yes, I'm taking it back. Ooh. Let me tell you why you can't have it. It's mine. It's mine. It's all mine. It's mine. You, you can't, can't have, have it. it. And I'm taking it back. Oh, yeah. It's mine. It's mine. Hallelujah. I dare you to shout, give it back, give it back, give it back. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, family, put your hands together. Come on, wherever you are, give God a praise. Put a praise on it, as my student like to say. He put a praise on it. Oh, I tell you, there's a sweet spirit in the house today. Oh, family, it won't be long. It won't be long. I believe it won't be long until God is going to allow us to get back together again. Say amen to that. Hallelujah. This is a matter of fact, we're going to announce that we Palm Sunday, which is the fourth Sunday in this month, we're going to have our worship on the lawn, our first worship on the lawn. Oh my God, it's the beginning of Holy Week. And I want to see my family beginning Holy Week. Say amen to that. So family, get ready, get ready, get ready. You'll be hearing more information about it. We'll pull up on the lawn 
You can sit in your cars. If the weather's good, and I believe the weather would be beautiful, you can bring your lawn chairs. And hallelujah, hallelujah. We'll be issuing palms to our members to pin on that Sunday so we can honor the Lord as we begin our Holy Week celebration. And then we'll come right back and be together on Easter Sunday morning. Oh, yes. So make a note of that fourth Sunday in this month, our worship on the lawn, Easter Sunday. First Sunday in April, we're going to worship again together as a family. And then we're going to do it intermittently off and on. Our fourth Sunday is our birthday Sunday. Oh, yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. I'm excited about that as we're celebrating 100. And 54 years. That Sunday we're going to be in house with our elders. We're bringing all of our elders in. To bless them and worship with them. Amen. Since our celebration of our anniversary is really about our history. So what we're going to celebrate our elders. We're going to bring all of them in on that Sunday. And bless them and honor them and love on them. Oh, I'd be so glad to see them. We thank God for keeping them. We have not lost not one elder to the coronavirus. Thank you, Lord. Ah, yeah! I'll give him praise every week. Yes, I will. I don't care what the devil say about it. I'll thank God for what God has done in our family. He is so good. He is so good. It's good to see Mama Marge here today. One of our elders there. It's good to see her. Amen. Amen. So, family, we thank you for your giving. Man, I tell you, as I was meditating this morning, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, Son, the body of Christ has delivered on the main test of the COVID-19, the giving. That's the main test. Oh, it's easy to stay at home and, 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 and turn on the computer and turn on the screen and worship in your home it's easy to do that but it's not easy to continue to give continue to sow into the kingdom of God and family you have done that the body of Christ has done that and God is pleased with that yes he is yes he is so we thank God for you you have continued to sow it's been over a year now via Giblify you have continued to sow hallelujah Many of you have mailed in your seed to our safe and secure post office box, Friendship Baptist Church, post office box 2773, Evans, Georgia, 30809. Many of our elders chose to do it that way. We thank God for them. We're looking so forward to seeing you elders on our birthday Sunday. Many of uh, the rest of our family have continued to sow via Givelify. We thank God for you. God is pleased. That it takes faith to do that. When you're not meeting in the house, it takes real faith to continue to do that. And God is pleased with that. Family, why are you doing that? My God, what a powerful black history worship experience we had on last week. Oh, my God, Dr. Walker. Woo, my God, Dr. Walker blessed us. Kayla Parks blessed us, our children. Our young people, our YPM ministry, oh, can we just praise God for them? They, they looked so good last week. They did such a wonderful job all month long, honoring our elders and honoring the accomplishments of black and brown people to America. What a wonderful month that was. And we culminated it last week with our Black History Month celebration. What a powerful time that was. Our family, our WZW, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, we had the EFI Global, the traditional African group with us this past Wednesday. They blessed us, they blessed us. That's, we've never gotten that many comments on our WZW Bible study. It was a blessing and they'll be back. The family is already saying you must have them back again. They just scratched the surface. They didn't get a chance to even discuss and dialogue and communicate about a lot of the things that we have been blessed with as African people, people of African descent, our spirituality. That goes Zango and Ayana. Oh, they blessed us. The elders, they blessed us. They will be back. But listen, family, this Wednesday, 
I have my chiropractor is coming, Dr. Williams. Oh my God. We're continuing our theme of ministering to the total person, spirit, mind, and body. This coming Wednesday, 7 o'clock, my chiropractor will be with us. And he is an awesome man of God, awesome chiropractor. He's going to be talking about general health and wellness. Uh, many of our people having issues with their backs and their spines. He's going to be talking about that. He's going to be talking about uh, prostate cancer and colon cancer. So we're trying to get every man in our ministry, every man in our ministry to meet us on that call. Our Bible study call Wednesday night from 7 to 8. Join in. Uh, we're asking Elder Rick Hamilton, overseer of our men's ministry, to send out a special email to the brothers and get the brothers on the call. Doc is going to bless us. He's my friend, my, my fraternity brother, but he keeps my body going in good shape. And he's an awesome man of God. And he's going to bless us on this Wednesday, 7 o'clock, for our WZW. Family, it's tax season. We know that it's tax season. And uh, right now, uh, our giving statements are available for family members who want to request your giving contribution statement. IRS still allows you to deduct giving to the house of God. Amen. It's one of the few deductions now that they still allow. So you can uh, email our finance ministry, FBC Finance at 1867 at gmail.com and we'll send you out your statement and uh, you can use it in your tax as you go and have your tax prepared. Amen to that. Thank God for our finance ministry. Minister Cheryl Parks, she's the overseer of our finance ministry, keeps our God's resources in order. Make sure that we're sowing into seed, into ground that we need to be. Oh, and God is blessing us. We've started our deliberations with our Community Development Corporation. Oh, family, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I can't, I'm not even going to go there right now. But God is moving. God is moving in such a magnificent way. And we give God praise for that. Thank you for your giving. Father, we thank you for every seed that's sown into good ground for the upbuilding of your kingdom and the spreading of your gospel. Father, we thank you for blessing us with 154 years of ministry to the world and to this community. We're sowing into that, God. As we get ready to celebrate on the fourth Sunday in April. Father, we bless families. We continue to bless families throughout this pandemic. We thank you for that, God. Oh, but you have kept us. And we thank you for that. Father, those who've been out of work and maybe just don't have it to sow right now, we bless you for their, their desire to give. Because we know if they have a desire to sow, you will give them seed. Oh, I'm a witness to that. So, Father, for every seed that's sown, we thank you. And we know you love a cheerful giver. Bless everyone. Continue to bless our family. And we'll continue to sow. We'll continue to give. We'll continue to be a blessing to your world. In Jesus' name. Say amen to that. Oh, family, the men are coming back one more time to bless you. And uh, we're coming back with a mighty word from God. Our, our, that's our March birthdays. Oh, my goodness. Look at the month of March. That's our March birthday. I can't even call all them names. It's a blessed month. The third month is always a blessed month. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. I already am blessed. Nisa, she told me what I was going to give her for her birthday. <laughs> That's all right. Amen. That's our March birthday club. We thank God. Wow. We got a lot of members, a lot of family born in the month of March. What a blessing. Family, can we put our hands together and bless God for our March birthday? Amen. 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 We want to thank you for uh, sending in your names and for your birthday month and of course we'll be sending you out a blessing amen just to stay connected and tell you that tell you happy birthday and we appreciate you we're coming back with a word god bless you amen
God is good. Family, just put your hands on it like that. As we're celebrating the Lenten season. Celebrating the birth, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank God for what God has done. Hallelujah. And I don't know anybody that feel like me. You glad he rose one day? Come on, help me say it. Say it. Sunday morning in St. Louis when he rose he rose in my soul say yeah Remember the day. Jesus I remember the hour. Yeah, yeah. When he saved Jesus. Lord. When he raised me. I begin to see him in a new way. I begin to trust him. I begin to love God with all my heart. Lord. I begin to bless God.
Lord, I hear the Lord. Yeah. I got you. Oh, yeah. I hear the Lord say, I got you, I got yeah. you. I know you got tears oh, in your eyes yeah. right now, but I still love you. Yeah. I know you're hurting right oh, now, yeah. but I still love you. Yeah. To that bereaved family oh, this morning, yeah. I just want to let you know God loves you. Yeah. Gonna make a way out of the door for you. See ya! Let it go, Lilla. Really? I'm trying to let it go, but I'm so glad that he rose because he rose. We're gonna rise. He rose. <laughs> the family in the house says, say it one more time. Say yeah. I'm so glad he rose. The deacon, I just hear the boy sing real softly. He rose. Jesus rose. Jesus rose. Jesus rose. Jesus rose. One more time, fellas. Jesus rose. Jesus rose. Yes, indeed. Jesus rose. Jesus rose. Come on, put your hands together and give God a hand praise. <laughs> oh, family, he rose for you. Yes, he did. Because he rose, we're going to rise as well. We're coming back with a powerful word from God. God bless you. God, hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is in the house. Somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, God. We want to thank God for our media ministry. Hallelujah. Because of them, this anointing is able to flow from in-house to your house. Oh, yes, it is, family. Amen. And on our Facebook line, on our YouTube, you have opportunity to share. You can share the live stream. So we want to encourage you to do that. Many people need to know that Jesus rose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we encourage you to do that. Share it. 
as often as you can. Hallelujah. You see the share button on your screen as you're viewing it. You can share it with loved ones and family members all over the world. We get calls and texts and emails from people in California, New Jersey, North Carolina, where my family is. They never miss it. Amen. South Carolina. So we thank God that God is blessing us to reach the masses. Amen. Thank God for our greeters, our music ministry. Amen. Thank God for our music ministry and our family that's here in the house with us, our sound technicians. Amen. My God, I feel the anointing. Ooh, God, help me preach your word. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Thank you to our men's chorus. Amen. I don't care what nobody say. We got the best men's chorus. <laughs> I'll put our men's girls up against anybody. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, I heard the Holy Spirit say something. I bet not share, I bet not share that. I heard the Holy Spirit say we will be recording. Oh, God help me, Jesus. Many people have requested it these men record our music ministry here at Friendship. We thank God. So God has that in, in the plans for us. Amen. Again, we were just honor the Lord for seeing Grandma in the house. Grandma Luke, it's good to see her. Amen. All right. Y'all y'all bear with me. I tell you, I get excited here. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes <laughs> this is the word of the Lord and Father we thank you for your word <clears throat> Paul's writing to the Corinthian church his second letter he says but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Oh my God. Before I give you the title of the sermon, let, let me translate that passage. We have something inside of us that is extremely valuable. It does not belong to us, but it was given to us by God to use for God's glory. Hallelujah. So the title of the message is, Use What You Got. Oh, oh, oh y'all say that. Uh, family in the house, look at your name and say, Use What You Got. Hallelujah. What, what good is having a valuable treasure if you can't access it? My God. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. Another translation says we have this treasure in clay pots. The clay pot is a metaphor for our physical bodies. We have some one we have something we have someone living on the inside of us and that possession is priceless oh and family what you must learn to do is use what you got mm, come on say it again with me use what you got and what we have is god's power dwelling on the inside of us, it is the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, the very breath, the very life of God living and breathing on the inside of us. This treasure, Paul calls it, this treasure was given to you by God. He was a promise delivered. Oh, John 14, 12. I need to show you that. He was a promise delivered. Delivered, God had made us this promise as Jesus was preparing to leave this earth realm. This is the celebration that we're in now, the Lenten season. Jesus was preparing to leave this earth realm 
And he promised us, he, he, he promised us something in John chapter 14, verse number 12. He said, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also and greater works than these he will do because I go to my father. Family, my God. Ooh, Aaliyah, look at that. Hallelujah. Even out on the softball field. Oh, look at what Jesus, he said. He said, because I'm going away, my father's going to send you another helper. He's going to send you a power. And when you receive that power, watch this, you will be able to do even greater things than I did. Oh, my God. My God. Jesus, when he said that, he blew their minds, man. Because look, look at the things that Jesus did. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He opened blinded eyes. He exercised control over the elements. He spoke to the wind. He made it rain. He held back the rain. Hallelujah. He, he, I'm telling you, if you are a believer, look at what he said. He who believes in me, if you are a believer, Jesus said, you can do what I did and you can do even greater things. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you can do it because when I leave and go back to my father, he says, God is going to send someone to take my place. Oh, verse 13 and 14. <laughs> He's still preaching this. He said, oh my God. He said, and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Oh, family, you got that. You got that. He said it again. He doubled down on it. He said, if you ask anything, somebody shout anything. anything. Hallelujah. Oh, family, you need to hear that. You need to receive that. Hallelujah. Because of that power that's dwelling in you. Jesus said, if you ask anything hallelujah oh we've been praying some bold prayers recently as we walk through our Lenten season oh my god god said if you ask anything in my name i will do it hallelujah anything anything in my name oh it got better verse 15 and 16 jesus is still preaching hallelujah <clears throat> thank you lord he said if you love me keep my commandments say amen to that yeah, yeah, it's all about love. It's all about love. What love got to do with it? It's all about love. Yeah, because see, you don't access this treasure that you have without loving God. And he said, if you love me, you keep my commandments and I will pray the Father. Watch this. Here we go. And he will give you another helper. Hallelujah. That he may abide with you forever. Jesus said, I'm going to pray as I'm getting ready to leave here and go back home. I'm going to pray to the Father. He's going to give you another helper. Watch this. And he will abide with you forever. This was an eternal promise. He will be with you forever. He will never leave you. Oh, there are a lot of people that come in and out of your life. Some come for a reason. Some come for a season. But this awesome helper, Jesus said, he will never leave you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. You got to use what you got. Somebody shout, use what you got. Use what you got. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 17. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He said the spirit of truth. That's what he called him. Whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him. For he dwells with you and will be in you. Oh, see this treasure, the world came, the world don't have this treasure. Oh, the world think they lodge and in charge. The world think they got it going on. Oh, but the world can never receive this treasure because they don't know him. They don't. But he says, you know him. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. You know him. 
Jesus called him the spirit of truth. And see, the world can't handle the truth. Oh, they just want to operate in lies and deception. Oh, and I remember I was meditating this week. Oh, God gave me this word. He said, son, tell my, tell my children, don't hang out too long with people like that. Mm, somebody shout, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Don't spend a lot of time. But the world cannot receive him because they don't know him. He says, but you know him. You have an intimate relationship with him because he lives in you. He dwells within you. He lives in you. Use what? You got. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at what you got in this treasure. He's with you always. Oh, can I get 1,500 amens on that? Ooh, he is with you always. Listen, that's worth a million dollars right there. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying, man. That fact that he is with you always as we live through these dark days, these last days that we're living in now with pestilences and pandemics floating and crazy people floating around everywhere. Oh, God, isn't it a priceless blessing to know that the Holy Spirit never leaves you? He is with you you everywhere you go that's why you don't have to fear you don't have to worry about leaving your house you don't have to worry about going to the store you don't have to worry about going shopping you don't have to worry about it. you don't have to worry about it you don't have to worry about it because he is always with you <laughs> hallelujah he is always with you psalm 139 david said where can i go from your spirit where can i flee from your presence he said if i ascend into heaven you are there if i make my bed in hell you are there if i take wings of the morning and fly to the other parts of the sea. God, you are there. Listen, living through these perilous times, it's a priceless gift to know that God is always with us. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, he's always with me. Oh, yes, we could be celebrating our birthday in a few weeks. I remember Ma B used to sing that song about he walks with me. Oh, he talks with me and he tells me that I am his own. She used to say that standing right there. She said the joy that we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. You got to use what you got. Hallelujah. Let me go back to our theme scripture. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse seven. As we get ready to close this. Hallelujah. Look at what Paul said. He said, we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power of God that's in us it doesn't belong to us, but it was given to us to use by our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Family, always remember to give God glory for the treasure that you have. Oh. Because the power comes from God in order, lie, in order to utilize that power, we got to stay connected. We got to stay in constant contact with our God. That's where we are right now, family. Elder spoke about it so beautiful this morning. We're in the Lenten season. Hallelujah. And this is for the season for Christian believers. This is our time to stay sincerely connected. A period of reflection with our God. 40 days of fasting and prayer. Family, I want to invite you. It's not too late to get in. On this miracle season with us, we started February the 17th. That was Ash Wednesday. Hallelujah. The believers started this celebration. They would burn the palm branches from the previous year and they would dip their fingers in the ashes and they would anoint their foreheads to remind them that we in our flesh, we are immortal. We are mortal. We are immortal beings. They reminded themselves that we didn't come here to stay always. Oh, family. Yeah, we're going to leave here one day and go back home to be with our God. Oh, yes, Lord. The African traditional religion, Ephi, reminded us on Wednesday night, this is what they say. They say, earth is our marketplace, but heaven is our home. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. They say, we just here, we just here shopping. I know all the sisters can appreciate that. And the brothers too. I won't. We just here shopping. 
Earth is our marketplace, but heaven is our home. So they started on that Wednesday, Ash Wednesday this year. It was February the 17th. And we fast and we pray until Holy Saturday, which is the Saturday before Easter, Easter Eve. From the 17th of February to Holy Saturday, excluding Sundays, is exactly 40 days. We fast and we pray. Fasting is just giving up something to say, God, I appreciate what you gave up for me. Oh, you missed that. You missed that. The reason why we give up something of value to us, something we enjoy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For most of us, it's a meal. It's eating. It's food. It could be many things. But the time that we give it up, we spend that time in prayer, in dedication, in devotion to our God. Hallelujah. We're on day 16 right now. Next week, we'll be almost halfway home. Oh, and I'm telling you, God is blessing. God is healing. God is delivering. Elder confirmed it this morning. Things that people have been praying for for years. God is delivering. Oh, and God told us that. He said this Lenten season was going to be unlike any in our generation because of what we have come out of in this COVID year of 2020. God is moving. In fact, I want to encourage you to get in with us. It's not too late. Tomorrow will be day 17. Thank you, Lord. And God is hearing our prayers. He is honoring our prayers. So for the next 40 days as we fast and pray and we give up something on our way, to Resurrection Sunday, we want to encourage you to join with us and staying connected to our God. If you don't know God like that, it's all right. You can learn, you can, you can, you can get in communion with God, you can get connected right now. Just pray this prayer of salvation. Father, I believe that you are God. And I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. And I believe. And when I leave this earth, I'm going to be with you. And you're going to raise me up again from the dead. I believe. And I want you to be Lord of my life. If you pray that prayer sincerely, God will honor you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To our live stream family, if you want to join with us and get in on our, our Lenten celebration. Get in on what God is doing. Our birthday celebrations. You can go to our website. You can email us. Let us know that you're being blessed and that God is honoring your prayers. And you can get connected with our ministry. God is blessing us. God is blessing us. Say amen to that family. Father, we just thank you. We love you. We appreciate this time of worship and praise. Oh, what a blessing time we had here in the house. We're looking so forward, God, to seeing all of our family in the next few weeks. Continue to keep us. Bless us. Use us for your glory. We'll give you praise. We're going to use what we got. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God family. Man we are so delighted. That you joined with us today. Listen, it is our prayer that you were blessed by the Word of God and by the worship experience here at Friendship Baptist Church. We're going to be praying for you this week. Keep us in prayer, and may God continue to bless you. Thank you for tuning in.